Hello everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see three steps in the NLP pre-processing, which are tokenizing, stemming, and lemmatization. So in the stemming part, we are going to see three different algorithms, which are Porter, Snowball, and Lancaster. Specifically, we are going to see first the theory part and later we are going to switch to the notebook so we can see in practice how each of these steps are different. Specifically, also we are talking about the differences between stemming and limitization. So let's go toward the first step, which is tokenizing. It is as simple as we are splitting the sentence into the token or words. So you can consider, for example, this example as uh, in this sentence, autonomous car shift insurance liability toward manufacturers, manufacturers. So as you can see, we can split this sentence into words such as autonomous cars, shift insurance, and so on. So each word is considered as a token. So this is the primary step uh, when you are dealing with the sentences in the documents. As you can see, it is easy to apply and see. After tokenizing, we are going to the stemming part. So stemming is uh, going to reduce the word into its roots. So normally there are several uh, rules in order to apply them. Uh, and it happens that the, there are algorithms which are cutting the last few characters or the uh, suffix uh, from the words. And uh, as in the al different algorithms you are going to see, there are a series of rules in order to remove those endings or replace them. Uh, when it is good to apply a stemming, when you don't want to uh, spend a lot of time on the context of each word. It is good to generally understand the topic of the document. And the down part of using a stemmers is that it doesn't consider the context of the word. Since it's not using uh, the dictionary in order to see if this cutting of the less ending words, less ending characters, does it uh, result to any valid word or not? Uh, so uh, let's see two examples. For example, if you have running or runner, then these two words are going to be cut as run. As you can see, okay, maybe more or less, it doesn't change a lot the concept, but in some cases it does. Or this example of caring, which means taking care of somebody, and if it will reduce to car, the context and the meaning is totally changing. So this is the uh, disadvantage of using a stemming. Uh, there is this recommendation that if the performance is the issue, you usually go for the stemming instead of limitization because in the limitization the algorithm is considering the context of the word so uh, let's say for example in the example of caring the limitizer is going to reduce it to the care not car so before going to the limitization let's see three different algorithms which are typical to use as this number. The first one is Porter, which is developed in 1980 by Martin Porter. At the beginning, uh, well, even now, it supports just the language of English, and it has more than 50 rules to apply. A snowball is the improved version of the Porter, which is developed by himself. And uh, it supports also multiple languages, such as Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, Russian, and so on. So it is, let's say, more optimized version of the Porter in terms of the output. Lancaster, on the other hand, it is developed by uh, 
page uh, in the Lancaster University. It has more than 100 rules to apply. You can add even your custom rule, but it's aggressive because it used iterative approach and it is, uh, there is the danger that uh, it overstem the words. So you may lose also the, um, really the good context of the word as well. So we are going to see the output in the examples that we are going to see soon. So before going to the notebook part and the practical part, let's see uh, about the limitization. As we said, uh, it is similar to the stemming, but we consider also the context of the word. The problem is that since the algorithm needs to check the dictionary to be sure that the output is going to be meaningful, it is computationally expensive. And as the result of the word is a valid word, it is more accurate. For example, if we have uh, three words, such as was, are, and am, the output will be B, which makes sense because all of them are coming from the root as the B. There are some variations uh, form of the B. And in the example of caring, the output will be care. As you see, the context is uh, staying here despite in the estimator. So let's move to the notebook part. And um, in the notebook, I'm using both SPACI and NLTK in order to import different algorithms to apply the stemmers and also the tokenize, to, both tokenizing and stemmers and later limitization as well. So uh, let me import the SPACI and here I'm loading the database of the core English and I'm using the first document, the first sentence as an example and here uh, I just want to see the output such as the text, the, mm, let's say, position of each token and also the dependencies. So as you can see, this is the sentence that we saw also in this slide as the example. And it specify like each word, what is the word, what is its rule, role, and what is its dependency. Uh, let's go toward to the tokenizing. As you can see here, it is similar to the upstairs that for each token in the document, I have created an empty list and I'm adding the token that takes to that list. So then at the end, I'm going to print everything. And as you can see, each word is recognized as a token. So this is the first step. Then Let's see, I'm going to use first a, snow, a snowball a stemmer. You can uh, import it from NLTK. And I specify the language because of course the stemmers should support multiple languages. Uh, so I specify the default language and for each word in the document. Uh, so as we have specified here for each token, I'm going to ask a snowball estimator to apply the stemming. So, so let's see. As you can see, okay, the autonomous has become autonom. Cars, car, shift, shift, stay the same. Uh, insurance, uh, the last four words has been cut. And as you can see, the output is not even meaningful. Uh, or for liability, we have liable, which is like, okay, this is not understandable. Uh, toward a state the same, manufacturers become manufacturer, which is okay. Let's see in the Porter algorithm how this happened. So let's see, uh, the output is almost, this is actually the same. So there is no difference between the output of the port and snowball estimator 
at least in this example. And let's try with the Lancaster uh, stemmer. And oh, okay, here as we can see, these first three words are staying the same. Insurance is becoming INS, which is not meaningful at all, or mm, even liability. It is more short, which is make it even worse, and manufacturers become manufact, which is even not. I mean, it's not understandable at all. Uh, so let's see an example also about limitization and here directly you can apply uh, for each token token dot lemma underscore let's see what is the output as you can see here we have for autonomous it stay the same as autonomous cars as the plural become singular as we had before shift is the same insurance at least it's become in it has state as insurance well let's say the liability and toward are staying the same and manufacturers is becoming singular which is i think more more not i think it is more acceptable and more meaningful respect to the previous ones so in order to see all every every uh, algorithm in the action again but comparing them more precisely here is another example the sentence is that is uh, about the book that i'm going to start uh, a short history of nearly everything by american author bill Bison is a popular science book that explains some areas of science usually using easily accessible language so uh, here we have uh, all of the algorithm as the stemmers so porter snowball and lancaster and also i'm calling limitizer in order to see what will be the output okay uh i don't expect let's say the short words such as a d or off changing so as here you can see in these cases they're all the same while the history in the porter and uh, snowball are same while lancaster is making it really short as hist and uh, limitizer is making it as the history which is like okay uh, on the other hand nearly as you can see porter is just eliminating the last y a snowball is becoming is making it as near the same as lancaster while limitizer is making it as just nearly mm, everything in the estimates algorithm is all same while limitizer is keeping it every keep everything american is also interesting that lancaster is making it as m which is like it's totally not short version of american but such as i am for example Mm, author is same will is same mm, and then let's see most of them are staying more or less the same or easily is the same for porter and snowball why for lancaster is becoming easy and limitizer easily uh, so as you can see most of the time porter and a snowball are staying the same while on the adverbs they can be different lancaster is really short version of the porter and snowball while limitizer is making it more meaningful so if you need uh, a more accurate result go for the limitizer while if you want something fast but still something uh, a bit meaningful of course not conceptually as we can see in some cases the stimmers are really reducing the concept mm, i recommend to go for a snowball as you can see sometimes it is more accurate respect to the porter such as here nearly i think near is more or less better than near lee and near well lancaster and snowball are the same here Lancaster, I think, is reducing the meaning a lot. Uh, so 
it can be dependent to the use case that you're searching for uh, but I hope at least you understood the differences between stemmers and limitization and also in the stemmer what are the three common algorithms to use and which one is a better use case for your projects hope you enjoyed this video thank you and see you soon